Example here, we have a series 2 plus 2 over 3 plus 2 over 5 plus 2 over 7. This time they don't give us this generic term, so we'll go ahead to find it on our own. Well, we know that it is a series from n equals 1 to infinity. Well, we know the a term is going to be 2 because the a is always the first term. So 2 times. And to find the r term, well, we just simply take 2 over 3 divided by 2, or 2 over 5 divided by 2 over 3, simply a term divided by its previous term. So 2 over 3 uh, divided by 2, we're going to get something like 1 third. So we can't simply write 2 times 1 third, but we can write, well, we notice that there is a, a pattern here of consecutive odd numbers. So consecutive odd numbers simply means that we take 2n minus 1. And that is our uh, consecutive numbers. So if we try n equals 1 for the first term, uh, we're going to get 2 times 1 over 1, which works. So the second term, n equals 2. So for n equals 2, the expression becomes 2 times 1 over 2 times 2 is 4, minus 1 is 3, so we have 2, 2 over 3. And let's just go ahead and check the third term as well. So 2 times 1 over 3 times 3 is 9, minus 1 is uh, 3 times 2, pardon me, is 6, minus 1 is 5, which equals 2 over 5. So we know that this expression checks out. So let's go ahead and compare this expression, 2 over 2n minus 1, with something. Well, let's compare it with the core term of this expression, 1 over n. Well, we know that 1 over n is a harmonic series, which always diverges. So let's see uh, if their limit works out. So limit as n approaches infinity of 2 over 2n minus 1 times n over 1, which equals limit as n approaches infinity 2n over 2n minus 1. And by the rational rule, uh, we take 2n and divide it by 2n, and we get 1, which is a finite non-zero number, which means that they both, uh, n over, 1 over n and 2 over 2n minus 1, must both, both converge or diverge. And we, since we know that 1 over n diverges all the time, uh, then our term here, our series here, will always diverge. So the series is divergent, or it diverges. So that was another application of uh, a test to see if a series converges. So this one we looked at is limit comparison test. Uh, a little bit more complicated than the comparison test, but sometimes very necessary. So uh, next time we're going to look at some more techniques to uh, find com convergence properties of series. So thanks for watching educator.com. We'll see you in the next lesson.